Welcome. My name is Dr. Paula Stover. And I'm Dr. Debbie Amoson, and we're from Georgia Highlands College. And we're going to talk to you a little bit today about um, what we did to kind of enhance a course that we had developed called Introduction to Nursing for our nursing students. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And here's our PowerPoint, okay? So uh, this presentation addresses content saturation in health science education. Anyone who teaches in health science knows that we have content saturation. New information is happening every day, every year, and instructors are constantly having to streamline and decide what's important and prioritize. So the amount of new knowledge every year causes heavy burdens on students and confusion with faculty. What do we teach? So to reduce the stress, our faculty pulled introductory content from our nursing program into a separate course for a diverse group of students. And what we did was create an open education resource to support this course and enhance student learning. We hope that you leave today this 10 minute presentation being able to explain how LibGuides can enhance open access learning. Also to be able to discuss the need for a textbook conversion to LibGuide formats. And then to explain how healthcare education content saturation can be reduced through creative online learning opportunities. So our problem that we found very early is that because health science research and education changes at such a rapid pace, uh, traditional textbook publishers can't keep up with that change. Uh, those textbooks are updated about every five to six years, and then the information is already out of date before it's published. Mm -hmm. So as new information is added, that content saturation becomes even more of a burden for our students. And it literally can prevent the students from learning the vital concepts we want because they get lost in the weeds. Mm -hmm. So our solution was we tried to come up with a way to better manage the required teaching learning content. So the faculty pulled introductory content from various textbooks into a separate online course that we were planning and, and utilizing and developing for pre-nursing students, which can be a very diverse population. The course had two purposes, to help students determine whether or not a nursing career is actually a good fit for them, and to reduce student learning loads during that first semester. Everyone remembers their first semester of nursing school and how rigorous it was. So this was to help them lose, reduce that load. We also found that with traditional fundamentals textbooks, those textbooks are more than $120 and they usually contain about 1200 pages. So it wasn't really practical for pre-nursing students to have to put out that money. So what we did, we know that as health science faculty, uh, we're clinicians, we are educators, we have families, but when we are in that role as an educator, we teach our students with a passion for the profession. I would like for that, those students to leave my course with that same passion. Um, in the past, we've relied very heavily on traditional textbooks because it was time saving, but it did limit what we could do as far as creativity in the teaching learning dynamic. And it didn't always address the learning needs of all of our students. So the faculty actually intended, we set out to mm -hmm. author a free open education textbook. Mm -hmm. However, we ended up choosing a LibGuide format because the instructions were easier to utilize and it was much easier to update material in real time. And so here is our LibGuide. It's on our, uh, in, held in our library at Georgia Highlands College. And so you can see that here's the table of contents. I don't wanna make you too dizzy by scrolling too down too far. And here's chapter one, and look how easy this is to use. And it's so easy to update as well. We have um, 
we, this is the happens to be the nursing history chapter and we've got the pictures and we've got a little bit about each uh, in, important nurse throughout the history but, of nursing. But look at this, students do not have to copy and paste a link or try and type it in. And sometimes when you go to a link that's typed in a text, it might be wrong or it hasn't been updated. Right here, Dr. Amoson can go in and if this link is broken or the, the um, YouTube video isn't there, she can put a new one in. Um, but students can go directly to the material, right to it. Students absolutely love this. So this is the textbook. This is the textbook we were writing. However, what we did with it was put it into, um, into a LibGuide and students love it and so do faculty. So how do we do it? <clears throat> well, the faculty, uh, Dr. Stover and I, along with our dean, applied for an ALG grant through the University System of Georgia. Um, during the process, we were required and we did review multiple introductory chapters in various textbooks. Uh, we used multiple fundamentals texts, med search texts, whatever we could get our hands on to get mm -hmm. information. We mapped out the current curriculum concepts that our faculty felt was important for those students to learn in that introductory course. And then as one of our team members, our co the college librarian worked with us and helped us format, but he also was the one responsible who helped us decide between a textbook and a mm -hmm. libguide. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took a summer semester to write the, the LibGuide and then edit it. And then it was posted on the library's website. Mm -hmm. So we piloted with uh, 22 stu pre-nursing students in the spring of, uh, semester of 2019. And actually these 22 students worked quick, uh, very closely with Dr. Amoson to make edits mm -hmm. and uh, that we thank them. The book is, is so much, uh, better book because of these these 22 students. And then uh, we opened the course to all gen ed students in the summer of 2019 and then all through to the summer of 2020 and that was an N of 70. We surveyed these students and we got some really good feedback as well. Okay. Our results are demonstrated that um, learning was enhanced and many other wonderful benefits uh, were accrued because of the, our efforts in mm -hmm. transforming this textbook to a LibGuide. And uh, at the end of this uh, PowerPoint is our reference, that's our report. So before entering the nursing program, students um, can decide to take the course before entering the rigors of nursing education. It does lighten their load. And then they were able to realize whether the profession is a good career choice or not. And then they benefited from a well-designed, no-cost open resource. Faculty love the ease of instruction. It's increased substantially. We are able to update content in real time. There is no waiting on new additions from publishers. Students are able to access on day one. They don't have to go to a bookstore or wait for something to mm -hmm. download. It's right there on day one. They have immediate access to those links while they're reading. They love that. They also experience less anxiety and frustration. They've told us that numerous yep. times. And then access to the resource is uh, offered throughout the program. One of the students said, I found it useful that the LibGuide was right at my reach. It was quick and easy to access. Another student said, the book on LibGuide makes it more cost effective for my skimpy budget and offered a thank you. Okay. So in summary, we saw a need for a low cost online textbook. We authored a text and then transformed it into an open education LibGuide, which allows for real time updates and ease of instruction. And then the students benefited from the well organized user friendly free textbook on day one. And again, here's our reference where you can get all of the data about our results and our outcome. Mm -hmm. We thank you for listening to this 10 minute presentation and we do hope that this has uh, ignited a little fire in you to maybe consider uh, working with a LibGuide. Thank you, we mm -hmm. enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact either Dr. Stover or myself and we'll be glad to help you through that process. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.